friends, I'm so excited you're here because I have several Dollar Tree wood blank Christmas DIYs that I know you're gonna love. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, sweet friends, let's start off with DIY number one, and we're gonna take four of these arrow signs from Dollar Tree, and we're gonna pull off those hangers. Now, if I was in my she shed, I would have definitely used my staple pull because some of the staples were left behind. However, I did not have the tool to pull them, so I just left them be. Next, I painted all of my signs a different color. So one of them I painted with my white Waverly chalk paint. The next I painted with my crimson. The next I painted with my Oss Waverly chalk paint. And then for the last one, I stained it with my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. While my signs were drying, I had this dowel rod left over from a previous project. So I just cut that down to size. I just kind of laid it on top of my directional signs and measured and then cut it with my saw that is always linked in my Amazon shop in the description box as well as the pinned comment. And I gave that a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint as well. I also took this wood piece from Dollar Tree and painted that white as well. And when that was dry, then I took my chip brush linked in my Amazon shop and this stain that is literally empty. I was just using what I had left inside the bottle, but none of, none of it would come out for me. So I did have to dip in the bottle and I just dry brushed all the way around this wood piece as well as the arrows and I did paint the white one obviously with this stain and then for the red the green and the stained arrow I did dry brush those with my white Waverly chalk paint now if you guys have been around then you know I always tell you guys if you do not like the dry brushing you can totally skip over this step sometimes I feel like you guys think that you have to do it exactly the way that I do it and that's just not the case I am just here for inspiration you guys if you just think outside the box a little bit you can totally um customize this to fit your decor and to your liking so i just don't want you guys to ever think that you have to make your projects exactly like mine are if you can't find an item you can improvise you can find something very similar um, you don't always have to use the exact same stuff if you don't like it or if you can't find it um, so i would just encourage you guys to use your imagination a little i know you guys can do it all you guys are absolutely amazing and I just don't think you guys give yourself enough credit because trust me I am not perfect and if I can do it I know that y'all can do it as well so once I was done the dry brushing I set those aside and I dry brushed the dowel rod in the middle I then take my chalk couture transfer and cut those up and all of the chalk couture items that I used in this video will be linked for you guys in the description box as well as the pin comment. And if you guys want to know how you can get 40% off all of the items, text my number once again linked for you guys the word chalk and I will get that info over to you guys. So for my signs, I just kind of laid them out. Um, to see like which ones I wanted on which color if that makes sense and then once I had them placed on the ones that I wanted then I went ahead and transferred on the images with the colors that I saw fit once again if you don't like my color choices you can customize this and choose the colors that you personally like and yes, little disclaimer, I'm a busy mama of four. My littles are home, so if you hear them, they are always here. <laughs> They're always here with me, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So you might hear them occasionally. Uh, sorry, not sorry. But anyway, moving on for the elf village, um, the little elf hat did not fit. So I thought that it would be cute to make sure this was super dry. I hit it with my blow dryer to make sure. And then I just kind of positioned that little elf hat right on top of that first E.
Now for this last one, um, it would not fit at all. The other ones, I kind of was able to squeeze the wording onto the arrow, but this one was just a little bit too wide. So all I did was transfer on the peppermint first. I hit it with my blow dryer to make sure it was super dry. I then transferred on the candy cane right next to it. Then the mine I transferred on right next to the candy cane with my gold paste. Now hindsight is 2020. Y'all know my favorite saying. Um, hindsight is 2020. So I wish that I would have done that mine in black. However, it's done now. It is what it is. And I love the way it turned out. I just wish that you could see the mine a little bit better. So if I did this over, I would definitely transfer that on with white or black. Um, but I did transfer on the this way with the gold as well. And then once those were completely dry, now comes the fun part, putting it all together. So I wasn't really too sure how I wanted to do this. I do not like it just totally straight so sometimes I stagger them but for this particular one I ended up putting them going different directions so the top and the bottom are perfectly straight and then for the two middle ones I kind of um, pushed one to the left and one to the right and then I just made sure that they were completely glued down by reinforcing in the back with some hot glue. Now, I should have taken the stickers off first. So if you guys do this project, make sure you take off your stickers first because I did have to go ahead and take those stickers off because it was coming off from the middle dowel because the sticker is where I glued it. So like I said, just make sure that you take your stickers off. So once I had them glued down, I ran a huge bead of hot glue just across the top no particular way or order um, I wanted this to look like snow so I took this salt that I got from Walmart I believe it was only like two dollars for that big container um, actually I'm going to show you the container here in a minute but I just put it in a little measuring cup and then I put my hot glue over the edges and then sprinkled that salt over the hot glue to make it look like faux snow now this was a total mess <laughs> this was a total mess you guys I don't know what I was thinking putting out this little tiny piece of wax paper but um, if I would have covered my surface a little better it would have worked out but just make sure you cover your surface and then it'll be much easier to clean up If you guys are enjoying this video, I would greatly appreciate if you would share this video out to your family and friends, and also become part of my crafty family by subscribing if you haven't already. With that being said, let's jump back in. Next, I take these lights that I got from Amazon in a big pack. They were really cheap. I believe they were only about 15 bucks for 12 of them, or maybe 12 for 12. I, I can't ever remember, but I do have them linked for you guys. I do use two strands of lights for this and I start by unraveling it completely because if not it gets all knotted up and then I glue the battery pack to the first arrow at the bottom and then run the cord down the back to the bottom and I know this is blurry um, I'm it in my kitchen and it's really hard to see the viewfinder from where I'm standing so I thought that you guys could see me I didn't realize that it was blurry and that it was focused on the arrows themselves but all I did was just kind of bunch up the lights and then hot glued them down now I am so OCD that I like properly placed all these lights in like the perfect spot that I thought and Looking back, you guys, there's no need to like perfectly place them. Just go ahead and bunch them up and then glue them down. Or if you're OCD like me, then you can uh, place them wherever you like. But if I did this over, I would have just quickly glued them down because once I do the next step, you're not even really going to be able to tell the placement anyway. So definitely don't waste your time and do it the quick way. Thank you. 
So I started in the back and then I worked my way around and once I got to the back again, I just glued it up the dowel rod and then I wrapped my lights around the directional signs. Now you can do this several different ways. You can glue it or wrap it. It's totally up to you. But I just like the whimsical look of it wrapped around the signs. But you can let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Would you glue them down or would you have wrapped them around the signs like I did? Second strand of lights, I just glued that to the second sign and then wrapped that around the next directional signs as well. To cover the bottom, I took out some fluff that I had from a different project left over and just glued that down in place to cover up those lights. I flipped it over and repeated that same step in the back. Next, I took this white fencing from the little cobblestone villages at Dollar Tree and I glued down the little wreath part to the middle and then I continued the fence all the way around that bottom piece. For the last fence piece, I did not go all the way around the back. I just didn't feel that it was necessary and I did not want to waste my little fence pieces. So for the last piece, I did have to cut that down to size. And then I took some bottle brush trees from Dollar Tree and glued those down on either side in the back. Next, I take this little bench and the little light post from that same little village um, brand from Dollar Tree and the light post had like a thicker bottom and it did not sit right where I wanted it so I did just cut off that thicker piece and then I glued my little lamp post directly to the fence in the, the back of it and then I just took a bottle brush tree and um, put that down and glued that to the right hand side and then I glued the bench to the middle making sure that the bench was nice and glued down before I let it go and I finished it off with a little bit of greenery to kind of look like a bush or a tree I don't really know but I loved the way that it looked and that was it for this DIY look how gorgeous it turned out y'all I absolutely love this sign and I cannot wait to decorate with it for years to come let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this sign is or do you love it all together Okay, y'all, DIY number two is so easy. You can literally do this with your eyes closed. So for those of you who are intimidated by DIY, this is the perfect entry level or beginner DIY. And I take this wood round from Dollar Tree. I cut the hanger off and then give it a distressed coat of my Crimson Waverly chalk paint. Once again, I know that distressing is not everybody's cup of tea, so if you personally do not like it, then you can totally color yours a solid color. Once I had my little wood round colored, then I took out my Cookies for Santa transfer and I placed that down and transferred that image on with my white chalk paste. I did not transfer on the Santa Claus is coming to town. I only transferred on that middle Santa and the circle around him. And this is just a pro tip. You always want to make sure that your chalk paste is stirred up because if not, you can get clumps and then it gets in your screen and it's just a mess. So 
I always forget to mention to make sure that your paste is nice and stirred. And then I transfer that on, like I said, with my white paste. And when you peel back that image, that is my favorite part. It is so satisfying to be left with that crisp, clean image. And not only that, but it's so quick and easy, which is my favorite part. I then transfer on the cookies for Santa part once the Santa was dry. And I took these four little cubes from Dollar Tree and painted those with my Crimson Waverly chalk paint as well. Once those were dry, I laid those out evenly and then glued those to the bottom with some hot glue. I always get a lot of questions on which type of hot glue do I personally use, and I love the Gorilla Hot Glue. Um, I get it at Walmart, so I figured I would mention that. And then I wanted to put handles on these, but I just was not too keen on the ones that I had, so I opted out of it, but I did just wanna show you that that is totally an option, and look how gorgeous this turned out. My daughter is so excited to put cookies on it for Santa this year, and I absolutely love this, so let me know down in the comments what y'all think. For DIY number three, I'm going to take these wood blanks from Dollar Tree and I start by cutting the hangers off of them. I then lay them side by side. You're going to need three of them. And I just put a bead of hot glue down the seams and then I attach that with some large tongue depressors. And for the bottom, three of them did not fit. So I did just cut down a little piece to fit on that bottom part. Next, I stain it with my Dixie Belle Voodoo Stain, and I do not give it a good coat. I do give it a distress coat. I always make sure to get the edges of my sign so that it all looks cohesive. And then once that is completely dry, then I take my Chalk Couture Transfer. Look how absolutely gorgeous this is. You wanna be careful with the bigger ones. So I always lay them down sticky side up when I take it off the backing sheet. And then I go ahead and lay it out and transfer on the wording and the snow at the bottom with my white paste. Next, I take my pesto chalk paste and transfer on the trees. Now this sign was actually inspired by one of you guys. I had gotten a comment the other day that said that y'all miss my bigger signs. So I figured that I would bring that to you. Um, if my chalk site has these chalk couture items, like I said, I will leave all of the items that I used in one link in a cart link and you guys can add and subtract from that cart as you see fit. But I just like to put them all in one place for you guys and make it much easier. And then once I peel back that transfer, look how gorgeous this looks so far. I also just wanted to take a second to share this amazing drink with you guys. I get questions all the time on how I lost all my weight. Y'all, this is since having my baby eight weeks ago this magical drink literally puts your body into a state of ketosis without diet and exercise and if you guys want any info on how you can do the exact same and lose weight and get more energy and focus and better mood let me know text my number the word ketones and i got you Next, I take my little chip brush and some white Waverly chalk paint, and I just dab some of that paint over the trees to make it look like faux snow. Now, I was going to be done with this sign, y'all. I literally worked until 5 a.m. and then got up at like 9 and started doing DIYs again. But anyway, um, like I said, I was almost done with this, and then I was like, wait a minute, I should put some lights in here. I think that would be super cool. So I just went over the little snow spots that were transferred on, and I used my drill bit to drill some holes, and then I also outlined the trees with holes as well, and then I flipped my sign over and took those same fairy lights that I got off Amazon, and I started by unraveling them making sure that they were working 
and then I just bent each light so that it could go into the holes much easier and then I did three at a time pushing the lights into the holes and then kind of pressing down on the wire so that it would sit flat on the sign and then I hot glued the lights into place making sure that they were dry before I moved on to the next three. Now this sign did take three sets of lights. However, I feel that it looks so high end. It was totally worth it. And like I said, the lights were super cheap anyway. And look how absolutely gorgeous this looks. So to finish this sign, I just made two double jute bows for the trees on either side glued those down with some hot glue and then I also uh, used my gold chalk paste on a little wooden star from Dollar Tree. I glued that down to the bigger tree and then to finish this, I thought I finished it with the bows but <laughs> y'all know me. I am a mess. Um, I went ahead and I did that same faux snow technique that we did on the on the directional sign and look how gorgeous this is. I think that that snow, the faux snow, had just give it that little extra touch that it needed um, and I absolutely love this sign so much. Per usual, I can never choose a favorite DIY. I'm curious to know which DIY is your favorite from this video and if y'all are still here, leave a Christmas tree down in the comments so I know that y'all are the real OGs. So let me know which project is your favorite. Like I said, if Melissa doesn't repeat herself, something is seriously wrong. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know if I'm coming or going these days, but I just appreciate every single one of you for sticking around with me in this entire journey. And I just love y'all so much. So with that being said, I love y'all so much. If nobody has told you today, you're absolutely stunning. You're worthy. You're gorgeous. And you can literally do anything you set your mind to. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me. Again, if you want any chalk or ketone info or just to be a part of the text crew, I always send out alerts of new videos or anything going on. Or if you guys just want to chat with me, I totally love that. Text my number, I got you. And with that being said, I appreciate every single one of you more than you could ever know. I love you with all my heart and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.